and happy 29th anniversary to my parents. Yay! Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Riddler? Say I'm attacking my brother. Sassy's doing. I am tired of these boys. Oh, that's why you're going after him. Hey, ah, ah. Go away. Because he has the halty on. I just put it on him so he could get used to it. I'm about to hop in the shower in a minute anyway. Riddler! Stop! So... We need to get used to wearing it. He's not too thrilled about it, but you gotta learn. Yeah, it'll help you so much. So today's been kind of a slow morning. Um, slept in late and I was also feeling really crappy and depressed and didn't want to get up. And the dogs were being irritating because they kept fighting on top of me and stepping all over my legs and that hurts a lot. Yeah. Riddler. Hey, 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 boys, will you step? You go there, you stay here. Here, you play with toy. Play with squid. You stay here. Thank you. Rotten dogs. Nope, nope. I'm making a line, you cannot cross it. See, leg line, you cannot cross it. And let's see, then my brother and I we made another candy kit. It's donuts, which that one turned out pretty good. And now he's ordering lunch from Domino's so we can also get caffeine. And I'm about to hop in the shower because I feel gross and need a shower. So I also need to work on vlogs because I'm now two behind. So yay. But just want to check in and tell you guys good morning. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. Here's me and Sassy Girl just hanging out. So I was just training with all the dogs something that is extremely difficult for the boys and that is threshold manners so if you know anything about my dogs if they hear anything outside that is another person's voice that is not ours they are flipping out wanting to go out there being like oh my gosh what is this didn't help that the people who were over had dogs and both of them found out I think they got to go play with the dogs I'm not exactly sure there were three beautiful black Labradors um so, I jokingly called the training torture because it was torture for the boys. And then for Sassy, it was no big deal. So, I made all of them back up from where I was. I was standing right there at the door. And I made all of them back up and sit. And then I would move my hand to the door knob, wiggle it to make some noise, gently open it and slowly open the door. And if at any point during that process, any of the dogs stood up, I would close the door, I would make them go back, sit down, and do it again. And then, because Sassy was being good, I let her out first. And then, of course, as soon as the boys tried to move, I would close the door behind her, make them sit, make them wait. That probably took about a good, it feels like maybe five, ten minutes before I could get the door open to a point that I chose and then told them they could go. But that's like torture for them because they hate waiting, especially Riddler. He is the worst about it. Emerald's pretty patient, which is good. It's what I'm needing. <laughs> so, yeah, I and mean, he also did a lot of halty training today. I left it on for most of the day. And of course, my parents had never seen him with it on, and when they got home, they're like, oh, what's that thing around his head? So I explained what it was. And then my dad was like, are you going to leave it on him all day? And I'm like, no. But I did leave it on him for a good few hours. And he's perfectly fine with it now. Um, of course, he tried to rub it off in the beginning, but he is doing better with it. And as you saw in yesterday's vlog, he actually did pretty good with the leash on it. But we will later test out how he does in public with the halty on. I don't know when. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, but I'm not sure. So, now we're getting ready because we're going to go to Fazoli's. Yay! Oh, and happy 29th anniversary to my parents. Yay! 
Today is their wedding anniversary. That's why I don't really see this as April Fool's Day all the time, because it's when my parents got married. Though on the rare occasion, I will ask if their marriage was a joke. Very rarely will I ever ask that, though. And clearly the answer is always no. So, yay, happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Ready? Yeah? We're ready when you are. Okay. Well, we're about to head out, so I will check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. There be Sassy. There be the boys. So, I've come home for my parents' anniversary. We went to Fazoli's for dinner, which apparently, <clears throat> that was inspired from the fact that when I was five and my brother was ten, fun fact, my brother's five years older than me. A lot of people don't believe that, actually, but apparently we had the idea to take my parents to Fazoli's, which is basically fast food Italian. It's really good, though. And then when we got there, we had the idea to make it more romantic for them by sitting at a table two or three feet away. <laughs> and that's what inspired my parents to go out tonight. So we did that. It was awesome. Um, then we went to Bass Pro Show because my dad was looking for something. And they happened to have this certain brand of dog toys on sale. So I got to get a new dog toy for the boys. And it's downstairs right now. And we're about to go to bed. So I will show you the toy in the morning. It looks like a cow with a rope on one end. Half of it is a giant squeaker, and the other half is like kind of plush. I pick the toys out very selectively for the boys. Because I have to make sure it's something I know they're going to like. But Riddler can't destroy it in two seconds, because he's very good at destroying plush toys. Um, there's a few toys that I have that's just for MRL. For like when I'm in the shower, if we're alone. Because I know Riddler would destroy them. <clears throat> and the rest of the toys were really plush. And I knew that this, since this was a toy for the boys to share, that Riddler would destroy them. So, I have to be very picky about the toys. And you know, that's okay. Know that, guys. If you feel like you're overthinking about dog toys, but it's because you know your dog's interests, then that's okay. Like, I was stuck between two. One of them was the one I ended up getting, and the other one was a plush owl with a squeaker. I thought about getting the owl because my mom liked it. But I was thinking about the other toy because I knew it would be less likely for the boys to destroy it. So, yeah. And then we came home and just now getting ready for bed. The boys were really happy to see me. MRL was getting really snuggly with me a minute ago, but he went up on my bed. Dang you, boy! Hi! Hi, Sassy. You want to say hello to your internet friends? She's wagging her tail for you guys. Sassy girl! Bam, 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 bam. Hi. Mwah. Hey, sweetie. She's such a pretty girl. Thumbs up for Sassy, guys. She is awesome. She's such an old lady. And she deals with these two. These two are difficult to deal with. MRL! <whistles> MRL! <laughs> there you are. Hi, sweet boy. Are you tired, Riddler? Are you boys tired? I know Sassy's tired. And soon the ambient will be kicking in, so I will soon be tired. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, do you have, like, does your dog have certain toy limitations? Like, there's certain toys they can't have. As I already said, Riddler should not have any toys that are very plushy, because he will rip them apart and he'll take the squeakers out. But mainly just really, really plushy toys. Um, he will destroy them faster than MRL can. MRL doesn't really have a toy limit. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!